There are other things to be aware of here on this uh, report selection form uh, besides selecting the two cards, but most of the time that's all you'll need to do. You can select a different graphic for the title page. We provide uh, a second one. You can see what it looks like there as opposed to the, main, the, the usual one. The default one is like this. You can actually create your own graphic if you want. And there's instructions in the help manual about how to do that. You can take the page numbers on or off. You can actually change the bottom margin. Sometimes some printers don't print as far down as you'd like them to, so you can change that. And then you have the selection here of whether you want to prevent, do a regular printed report, an email report, or a PDF report. The PDF report just creates a PDF file that can be read by Adobe Acrobat. Most people have it on their system. So you can email that to them if you want. You can create it and then just copy it into an email and send it to them or attach it to an email, I mean. But the email function actually allows you to uh, send an email automatically from this program with the, e with the report attached to it. And that's what we do. We, t we do most of the time when we do reports for Seven Thunders Publishing. To send an email report, you just click on email, then click on run report. And it says, it's telling me here that I must set up my email server information first before I'll be able to run a report. And it brings it up. And this is where we enter in our email server information. You need to know the SMTP or outgoing mail server information for your internet provider. Now you may have something like Yahoo or MSN, but that's not, not necessarily who you're getting your internet from. It has to be from who you're getting your internet from, which is usually like Charter Cable or Comcast.net, or it might be some other form. But you need to know that information, and that's what goes in here. And really, all you really usually need is your SMTP server information there. Um, usually, the use authentication will be unchecked. But I would go ahead and put your name and your email address here, and then you have it all set up. When that's all set up correctly, you'll have this form to send an email, and this is where you enter in all the information you need. And you'll type in the person's name and their email address, who you're sending it to, and then automatically a message is here, and then you just click on OK. The report gets generated. And then the email server program will pop up. The, I'm sorry, the report mailer program will pop up. And when you're ready to send it, you can just click on Send Report. Very simple.